Hello everyone, welcome to this 2018 Lincoln Navigator Reserve. Now this Navigator Reserve is currently for sale around $63,000 and it has around 31,000 miles on the clock. It's a really unique specification as well as it has an ivory exterior paint with an ivory and cappuccino interior color, really offering a unique look for your Navigator. Coming around to the rear of the Navigator, you can see Lincoln's signature rear LED light bar, and I can actually open this rear hatch by using the key. So I can double press on the key two times, and I'll open the power to lift gate as well. And as you can see on the interior, we have three rows of seating, and this third row is power adjustable by some buttons on the side right here. And these can actually fold down flat to increase your luggage capacity, as well as that second row can also fold down flat for even more storage capacity. And I am able to close the rear lift gate by pressing this button and it will shut down for me automatically. Now coming around to the front of this navigator, we can see the full LED headlights as well as the LED fog lights below. And it is signatured by Lincoln's double L design. But the Lincoln Navigator isn't only about its exterior looks, it's about the luxurious interior. Now, entering the interior, now the vehicle is on right now, but since I do have my Lincoln key and if the vehicle was off, it does have keyless access. So I can just simply walk up to the vehicle, press my hand against the door panel, and I'd be able to open it like this as well. So when you do open the vehicle, you will notice that the running boards open up for you. It's a wonderful feature. And then now you're able to see this absolutely beautiful ivory cappuccino interior with a contrasting dark open pore wood. This Lincoln is a, fitted with the fully massaging, heated, ventilated, and almost over 30 white power seats with an unbelievable amount of customizability and they're supremely comfortable on the roads. And again, we have the same beautiful leather back here as well. And you do have two captain chairs back here. Coming into the rear seats as well, you do have dual zone climate control. So rear passengers are able to control their own fan speed and temperature. And these seats back here are additionally heated for two stages as well, which is a wonderful feature. You also have additional charging solutions with here. So two USB ports and a full AC power outlet as well, as well as a regular lighter in the center. Down in the centerpiece, you do also have two cup holders. Coming around to the sides, you can see that these center passengers also get their own armrests as well. And like I mentioned earlier, these seats are available to fold down to increase your luggage capacity. You also additionally have some beautiful ambient lighting that really shows off well at night, as you can see coming on a little bit there. And as well, you can see some additional speakers for your Rebel audio system. Coming around to the rear seats, we do have three additional seats back here, and adults are actually able to sit back there as well. I'm a six foot one adults and I actually sit it back here pretty well not too bad and you are you do have some adjustability with this function as well you can actually recline the seats and they're powered which is wonderful you do have your own cup holders back here as well as a USB charging outlet on each side just show you this feature right here this is a adjustable climbing for the third row passengers really nice feature and the cabin never feels cramped at all as you do have some really beautiful big windows on the sides and additionally above here we have a full panoramic roof which does open as well as a, and this is just with the shade open and there is a shade that closes as well to give you a little bit more privacy getting in and out of the rear seats is nothing of but much of a hassle either as there is a lot of room in the center console and now that we are back here we are able to get a much better look of the beautiful front end cockpit of the Lincoln Navigator and again, this is a Lincoln Navigator Reserve. Let's hop up to the front end again. I'll show you a little bit more features. Sitting in the front seat of this beautiful Lincoln Navigator is definitely a treat. Here we can see a fully leather wrapped steering wheel, as well as a beautiful color matched airbag cover as well. And on the door panels, of course, we have additional leather going across, as well as nice leather stitching on the dashboard. And you can see that beautiful open pore wood that carries throughout the dash of the interior. And it's also really visible on this beautiful center console. And you can even feel it if you rub your hand against it. It is true open pore wood and has a really wonderful feeling to it. Coming down under the center console, as you can see it is floating. You do have a significant amount of storage underneath here, which is really wonderful as well. If you want to put a purse or a handbag or something else down here, 
or some uh, some other stuff as well you do also have additional storage on the door panels as well as well as your speakers for your rebel audio system on the door panels you do have all your controls for your windows so all four windows are automatic which is wonderful as well which is a great feature you also have your controls for your mirrors and your door locks as well and there are power folding mirrors as well so i just press this button and the mirrors will fold in and out on the side of this panel, you do have some of your controls for your seats. Now I say some of your controls, including your memory controls, which you have three of, because these seats are infinitely customizable and to access them, you can simply either press one of these buttons, including the massage button, and it will access the menu in the um, center console to give you more adjustability for your seats. And here you can see, as it just turns off the massage for a second, you can see all the different options you are able to change the seat um, positions in. As, as if you do notice on these seats, each one of these panels are able to move in a different way, including the headrest, which is just offers a great customizability. Even these individual thigh supports are in, capable of operating individually from each other, which is a really nice feature and a great offer for customizability. And both the front um, driver and passenger are, do, are able to have a massage feature as well. We'll just turn that off for now. Now on our center console, we saw a little bit of stuff there. Now in, in this driver zone, we have a full color heads up display up there, which is really much bigger in person. And unfortunately the camera is not able to capture how big it actually is to the driver, but it is a significant portion and you are able to control um, the different position on it as well. So if you don't like it in this position, you are able to move it up and down like this, simply through the um, digital dashboard right here. Now this digital dashboard does change with a few different things, so you're able to change the driving mode. So if you come down to the center console, you'll see your driving mode selector right here. And when I do turn this dial, you'll see the different driving modes come up into the center console. So conserve, normal driving, even more normal driving, normal 4x4 automatic mode, slippery conditions, deep conditions, and if I kick it all the way to the left, we'll have an excite mode, which will increase the throttle response and give you a little bit more pep and acceleration. For now, we'll leave it in conserve. Also on this gauge cluster, when this goes away, you'll see your speed and um, your RPM gauge right there, as well as your fuel economy. And you are able to adjust this a little bit more. Coming onto the steering wheel, you can see your controls for your volume, your track selection, Bluetooth controls, as well as your um, adaptive radar cruise control settings right here, as well as a few other controls for lane keep assist, but more of that is available to access through the center console. Coming down to your lower left, you are able to see your um, lighting controls right here, as well as opening the rear hatch. And you do have power pedals, so you can adjust your brake and accelerator pedal by using this button right here, which is a wonderful feature. And of course, you have a power adjustable steering column as well, tilting and telescoping. And all the interior materials in the Navigator do feel high end and high quality, as even this grab handle right here is stitched in leather. The, all the different um, air vent controllers are, have a nice weight to them, including the ability to open and close them, which is really nice. And all the buttons do have this beautiful knurling to them as well, which gives it a really premium feel. And we do like how Link did separate the climate controls from the infotainment system, so they are easy and accessible right here for you. you again, like I said earlier, you have heated seats in three positions, as well as three position ventilated seats as well, both for the driver and passenger. Coming down to the center console, we can open this right here. And we see we have two cup holders, which are LED illuminated. We have a little storage cubby right here. Pressing this button will unlock this other portion where you have two USB ports, a wireless charger, and a little bit more storage. In this center console over here, you have a massive amount of space. I wish I could show you how much space is in here, but it is a significant amount of space, very deep. And you also have another little storage cubby for coins, as well as another power outlet right here. The centerpiece, is, of course, is also finished in that nice open pour wood, and you have some center armrests right here as well. Coming up to the top over here, we do have a little bit more of our controls for the um, full panoramic roof over here, so you can change the shade right here with these buttons, and you can also open the roof right here. You also have some lighting options right here as well, and you can see the frameless rear view mirror, which is a wonderful feature. And up here as well, you can see another speaker says part of the system for your Revel audio. To start and stop the vehicle, you do have a button right here, a beautiful metal button for your engine start stop. And to put the vehicle in park, reverse, neutral, or drive, you do have these wonderful Lincoln piano keys right here to do that. 
Now, if you want to access some cameras, you can pop the vehicle in reverse, or you can do this anytime by pressing the camera button on the center console, and you will get a 360 degree view of your vehicle from the center console. You're also able to change the views in a different position as well, which is really wonderful. And just go back by doing that. Over here, you do have your turn signal stocks as well. And of course, your wiper controls on this side. And that is mostly it of this beautiful interior of the Lincoln Navigator. So I want to thank everyone for joining me on this wonderful tour of this 2018 Lincoln Navigator Reserve in this really unique specification. Thank you again, and please join us for another video in the future.